seen our first guests in shows like Better Call Saul, Curb Your Enthusiasm, Glow, and What We Do in the Shadows. They're the hosts of the podcast View from the Cheap Seats and Dumb People Town. I love it. We welcome back to AM Northwest the Sklar Brothers, Randy Thank and Jesus. You. Yes. <laughs> you can't put us into a box, no. although you can put us in a love seat. Exactly. I, 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 I love it. I love that you fit. We <laughs> fit in the love seat. I, I Not had, after the cookies that were flying <laughs> oh around the studio. God. Oh my God. I had a premonition there was going to be a psychic on this show. Did Wait, you, really? you did? I had a premonition. <laughs> you know, I went to a psychic. I, I got really? as, as a gift for my 50th birthday. Not his, my 50th okay. birthday, even though we're twins. My friends gave me like a call from a psychic. And for the first 20 minutes of the call, I was like, how did you know you had psychic powers? Were you just walking around the grocery store and being like, why can I hear his thoughts? And I just now know know like I just contacted yes. and the what cat. was what did they tell you she said I was at a dinner party and like I my friend was asking me about stuff and I was like I'm hearing something about this and and she was doing a different career and, and she then. was like right she was yes. so right and I, so so I was you like become a non-skeptic are you a so I told now? her I'm skeptical but I I'm leaving myself open for you to blow my mind and okay, she good. said a couple of things I mean our joke about like the uh, horoscopes and stuff like Here's that. Here's what I do about horoscopes. Uh, See, I love astrology. Do you, you love, love astrology? astrology? And okay. I love psychics. Okay, okay. So, okay. here's so, our joke. Here's so our joke. I read okay. my horoscope and it said, something good or bad may or may <laughs> not happen to you in the near or distant future. That is so Capricorn. <laughs> so Capricorn. I'm a Capricorn too. Same. Same. <laughs> All right, we got it. Hey, no wonder we jive. <laughs> it's right. like, okay, we can relate to each other. Okay, That's let's right. talk about. Michigan. Yes. I mean, the big game. Come on. The we Rose were, Bowl. We were at the Rose Bowl. It was magic. Look at that. I Look mean, at those people. We were just screaming. I have, I have. I can't believe I have a voice three that days is later. That's so exciting. We got to take our daughters, and that's our buddy Brad Meltzer, New York Times best-selling author. Wow. He was there, and he was at school with us. So we saw so many people. That's me. That's Look my face you. when I finally got out of the parking lot. <laughs> at, uh, <laughs> Rose Bowl parking is terrible. Yeah. It took me three days to get out of the parking that's lot. So but funny. It was so funny. And oh. like we were going, we were coming out, walking out of the stadium, and we saw the drunkest guy, Alabama fan ever. I felt oh. so bad for him. He was so drunk. We're like, are you 60 or 80? I can't tell. <laughs> you know, you're so drunk that you're like, I don't know how old this guy. And his like bones weren't working I anymore. I tried to pick him up and it'd be like picking up a, uh, like not a, a bowl of jello, the actual, actual jello. jello. I was like, I'm not gonna get this guy. And then he he was like, I just wanna lay down over there. We're like, where? Can I get some subtitles where? on what this guy's saying? I just wanna lay down over there. We're like, where? By the trash can. He So he wanted to sit by the trash can. So we laid him down on first of all he was like call one of my friends and uh, we look at his phone and like you know how like when people get really old they start magnifying the font yes. his font was so big <laughs> we're like what's his name Steve you're like how is that taking five lines like I shouldn't <laughs> just do it Steve S T E I'm v. doing this just to get the name anyway so I lay him down in the trash so we literally put you an Alabama fan in the trash this, put trash okay. bags around him just and then he mom. like two seconds later woke up with a start <laughs> And he was like, I'm just trying to get up. I'm like, do not yes. try and get up. My daughter, who is very funny, she's a freshman at Michigan. She My daughter quoted is one of the most famous, famous sayings that's like over the locker room or on the way into the stadium at Michigan. She said, no, don't get up. You stay because those who stay will be champions. <laughs> <laughs> And then he went into the drunk hall of fame. He, oh, he really, that's really so did. Funny. Yes, Let's yes. talk about the pep rally. You guys oh my God, we got were to at a pep, with a rally? pep rally, which was so much fun. We wrote like all these very specific jokes about Michigan and stuff that happened. That's was, a Michigan joke. I'm not in on that joke. Uh, I don't really what know. What was a Michigan? Well, first thing, yeah. So here's the joke. I mean, you probably won't get this, but we were at, at USC, which okay. is where they allowed us to do the pep rally because oh. there, were, you know, this is it this is a Pac-12 joke. Our right. Pac, okay. fans of Pac-12 football. So our joke was, it's so great to be here uh, in the house that you. USC built and then gave to Reggie Bush's parents. Oh, which hey, is, come on, that's illegal. So we did, hey, we got a cameraman yeah. laughing. I feel good about that's this. Right. That's right. Uh, and it was just us riffing and making jokes with uh, on, about Michigan's situation and our rivals. We made a couple jokes about Ohio State's coach coloring his beard. <laughs> uh, like he's the new Just for Men guy. So it was just, it was us sort of knowing our audience. Yes. Whooping them up. How fun. And so David fun. Allen Greer we, came We had and just took worked part. with David Allen Greer on a show. We were writing on this Kevin Hart, Keenan Thompson end of the year show on Peacock. And then uh, David Allen Greer, we got him to come on and we just interviewed him. And he was, he was so funny. So he's just one of the funniest people ever. Like we were at the game sitting right next to him at the game. How fun. So Michigan ties the game in the last like minute and a half he and it goes into overtime. overtime but like as the game is going to overtime David just turns to us and is like 
I'm gonna go. This is not. <laughs> I want to be traffic. This We're is like, what? Like, I would be like him. Like, I would want to be traffic. David. <laughs> so I texted him after the game, which was literally the most exciting game I've ever seen. Oh, I was like, David, I'm so sorry funny. the game was so boring. I really, <laughs> I'm really, really sorry that you oh, had to see that. My gosh. And then now Michigan is gonna play Washington, which is sort of, I'm a duck. Yeah. And we lost to the Huskies. I know. So we're a little sore so about barely it. Barely lost to the Huskies. Yeah. Like it was twice. A good game. twice. But it's okay. So, I mean, people in Portland really don't like Seattle right. and really does. So there's like this rivalry. It's kind of like Chicago, St. Louis, Boston, New York. It's the Northwest version. Sounders Timbers. Like that's a real thing. People don't. It's, yeah. it's a good Northwest so rivalry. I, so I know people down here in Portland, they're happy. They want, I, maybe they want Michigan to beat Washington. I a don't know. Here's the deal. Do. We think, by the way, Portland should get like a professional baseball team. I would love you that. You need one. And we you don't even need a stadium. Do. Just it's, it's super no. Portlandy. You just follow them on Instagram. It's a pop they up. pop up and they play <laughs> in a field somewhere. There's like a farmer's market you in left what? field. Heirloom Great tomatoes idea. by second base. Let's do this. <laughs> Each dugout is a weed dispensary. Come on. Maybe it would happen if people would think as creatively think as you outside the bun. I think we should call them the PDX carpets. <laughs> Because <laughs> you know the carpet Portland, at the airport. Yes, exactly. They changed it the, car is. the carpet at the airport. I don't know. That was a bad that decision. That was a bad call. That yes. was a bad No call. one's happy about it. No one's walking around the carpet now being like, I love it. We this. got yeah. into a Twitter feud with the PDX carpet. Yeah. What? P yes. P PDX P carpet called us out and we started getting into a full Seriously? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're like, we're going to walk all That's over hilarious. you, bro. We're walking all over you, man. <laughs> couldn't handle it. He couldn't take the Sklar heat. Come at us, PDX. Let's go, PDX. We're right here. We're here. Let's go. Where are you at? Where are you at? No, you guys are playing Helium tonight. Just yes. one night. One What's night. Up with one that? night, one show. We're coming through here on our way to do shows in Seattle, and we, you guys have one of the best comedy clubs yeah. in the country, Helium Comedy Club here in Portland. We have a great friend who's featuring for us who is a fantastic comedian, Sean Jordan. He does, he's, he's local He's on this guy. great podcast called uh, All, All Fantasy, Fantasy Everywhere. Everything. Everything. He's amazing. So the show is going to be great. Yes. We've only got one crack. I think there's just a handful of tickets left. They're okay. going fast. So if you're watching, if you're watching now, this and you're you like, want to come, come out. We got your plans for the night. Yeah. Come, come rain or shine. But and it's not well, a late show. Probably rain. Probably, probably rain. definitely rain. I think it's like a 7:15 show. Yeah. Or so. It's okay. early. So. Well, we'll have all that information. Great. But come look, out. speaking of podcasts, though, you guys have a couple of great podcasts. Thank you very much. So which one is your favorite? Tell me about both. So of them. I'll do the sports one. We do one called View from the Cheap Seats, which is our look at the weekend. In sports, and when I say week, I mean W E A K. Oh. The weakest <laughs> stuff that happened in the world of sports. Like, if anything really, so we talk, we give like our big take in the of, of what is happening this week, whether yeah. it's you know about the NCAA or if it's about you know the NBA or you know NFL playoffs are coming up. And then we Aaron Rodgers calling out Jimmy Kimmel and the Jeffrey Epstein stuff. Wow, that's, that's without yeah. without any information. Yeah. We're like, is he still on ayahuasca? I don't know, but uh. So we talk about that, and then we interview someone. We have someone, either a sports pundit or, or a friend of ours, a comedian who knows a lot about sports. Yeah. It's usually a fun interview segment. And then we usually have characters at the end. So it's great. And then we do uh, Dumb People Town. Dumb People yeah. Town, which we believe the world is getting dumber. Yeah. We <laughs> believe that as oh, I, ocean yeah. levels rise, IQ right. levels go down. <laughs> That's right. And so the only way to fight this Aww. tidal wave of dumb That's is our buddy to Dan Yeah, Curry he's been on our show. He's, he's the so best. funny. I love Dan. Daniel's the best. So the only way to fight the dumb is through comedy, and we break down Unbelievably dumb stories, usually from Florida, sometimes from Oregon. Uh -oh. Yeah, because Oregon, like Florida, releases their police blotter. So uh. it's crazy stories, like the man who tried to rob a house with his cat, and the, or the wom woman who got her head caught in the tailpipe of a truck at a country music festival, or as we like to call her, woman, woman at, at a country, country music, music festival. <laughs> <laughs> Why does that not happen in every guy? It probably does. So uh, it's great. We have great guests like I David Cross and Jack Black and all these oh. unbelievable comics come yeah. on the show and they do their they riff with us. It becomes a riff fest. We create comedy together. It Just is by breaking down dumb stories. It's I called Dumb it. People, People Town. Town. Exactly. Okay. Absolutely. And you are tonight at Helium. Yes. Get your tickets now because they will probably sell I out. I hope it's going to sell out. I think it's going to. But we want all of your good people who love this show yes. who would understand this to come on out because yes. it's going to be fun. Let me just say this. After going through the pandemic of not being able to go out on the road and not being in rooms full of people, to be in a room full of people laughing. Nothing Breathing better. on other people. We're like just sharing <laughs> RSV. Breathing. Come on out. Guys. Let's <laughs> share it. Let's go. Exactly. Okay. Thank you both so Thank much. You. We had so much more to cover. We'll have to wait till we'll next come back. time. We'll okay. Come back. Okay. We'll be right back with more A Northwest. Stay right there.